The grain loss monitor system calculates loss the machine is experiencing when the system is calibrated. The system is not accurate until the operator sets the machine and calibrates the loss detection system. The system provides the operator with information concerning changes to the performance of the machine. If the indicated loss increases and remains higher than when the system was calibrated, the operator should investigate the reason for the change. It may be necessary to adjust the operation of the machine, verify the loss level, and recalibrate the loss system to match the condition. The grain loss monitor software maintains three sets of grain loss defaults. One for small seeds, one for medium sized seeds, and one for large seeds. The appropriate seed size is automatically selected when the crop type is set up. Crop type also automatically sets the offset and scaling factors used for the sensors. The four narrow bar graph indicators on the primary display unit show the activity of the lost sensors. The graphs on the left of the display are for the shoe sensors. There is one bar graph for each sensor. The right graphs are for the separator sensors. STS machines only have one separator sensor, so the right bar graphs on the display are linked together. Total loss is calculated and displayed on the wide bar graph in the middle of the display. Once the machine is set and operating at the chosen harvest rate, calibrating the grain loss system centers the middle display between the green bars. If the loss rate changes during harvest, the middle bar graph indicates these changes. Remember the grain loss monitor is a visual reference showing the change in loss level. The calibration sets the base level of acceptable loss. The first step is to adjust the machine and header to an acceptable loss level for a particular crop and condition. To calibrate the grain loss monitor, press the combine setup icon. Confirm the crop setup icon is highlighted. The grain loss calibration button should now be visible. While harvesting at acceptable loss level, press the grain loss calibration icon. This enters the current operating characteristics in the memory and centers the total loss activity indicator on the corner post. Two additional operator settings are now available for the grain loss monitoring system. Shoe and separator balance and shoe and separator resolution. If losses appear to come from one area of the machine, but more losses are displayed in other area of the machine due to crop conditions, this is when balance should be adjusted. Touch the vision track settings icon. Next, touch the shoe separator balance box or the shoe separator balance bar graph so it is highlighted. Touch the plus or minus icon until the desired shoe and separator balance value is shown. The shoe and separator resolution can be adjusted in the same way. These settings have no effect on the wide bar graph display or calculation of loss. Balance can be used to bias the visual display between the shoe and the separator. If the shoe bar graphs continually show higher than the separator, Biasing the balance towards the separator display equalizes the bar graphs. Resolution changes the sensitivity of how the display shows seed strikes detected by the sensors. Resolution does not increase or decrease how the sensors detect seed strikes. Touch the back icon to return to the previous page.